Hi everyone, this is Osama, not Bin Laden, Osama Attar, <laughs> and we're walking on the streets of, where is this place? Uh, it's called Diable. Diable. And uh, we're in Sweden, and Osama is a Syrian who speaks fluent Arabic, fluent English, fluent Swedish, and God knows how many other languages. <laughs> and French. And French, and he is an NLP coach, and he has worked with different embassies and he has worked in human resources and he can help design HR policies, he can guide people how to get a job, he can guide people how to hire people. So we were just talking and he said that, you know, he's um, in most people in Sweden who are Syrians are struggling with work, right? So I was suggesting that he can go to upwork.com, freelancer.com, peopleperhour.com and register there and try to hire the services which he knows. And when you go and try to hire, you will find out the rates of that service. So for example, you can say, okay, I want to hire someone, <coughs> but I don't know how to interview someone. So how much would it cost me to find someone who can interview someone for my company. That's a job, right, HR guy. So he can go on these websites and see how much do other people charge. Maybe they charge $10, $20, $100, $1,000. I'm sure these all these prices are correct uh, based on the person's qualification who is uh, looking for this job. Then he knows what he's worth online. And then he can also go and, uh, uh, you know, re-find himself online because on the online world, a person sitting in Syria, a person sitting in India, a person sitting in Pakistan, they're all competing with each other, right? Because it's the internet. Nobody cares where you are anymore. But some people do care. So for example, you know Yavle more than I do. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you're more valuable that because you know Yavle, you've been to Paris, you know French, you have worked in certain embassies, you have certain small subtle skills which normal people don't have. So if you find your element, as Ken Robinson say, or the difference which makes you Osama Tar, not Rehan, uh, that will give you more value. And that's all you have to do. And then slowly you can find a job online. Another thing you can do while you don't have a job is to teach people what you already know. Uh, whatever you give comes back to you. So if you give money, sadaqa or zakat, mm -hmm. it comes back to you because God has promised us that it will give us even more back. Sure. Similarly, when you give out knowledge, just like you said, you like to help people. Mm -hmm. You weren't supposed to meet. But we met each other. Maybe I was supposed to meet you and give you this information. Obviously. <laughs> right? So, uh, if you went out on YouTube and start teaching everything you know, while till you don't have a job, you can teach it in Arabic, you can teach it in Swedish, you can teach it at, uh, for thousands of people who are Syrians, because you're Syrian Arab, you're not Egyptian Arab, so you know mm -hmm. more Syrian context Mm -hmm. So you can teach them how to find a job, how do you settle yourself in Sweden mm -hmm. or France or wherever they are. And by making these two to five minute videos on YouTube, you will automatically become one good in eyes of God, number one. Karma, the universe always rewards you. Mm -hmm. It's like a brownie point when you give something. And Second, you like to help people, so you're actually helping people. And you're not talking to one one-on-one, -on -one, you're talking to one too many, mm -hmm. so thousands of people can watch it and take advantage of it. Uh, third, if your videos actually go viral, so you make 100 videos in, say, three months, mm -hmm. one of them makes 100,000 views. So 100,000 views means around 100 to 500 dollars income from YouTube to you mm -hmm. because YouTube pays you for showing ads on your video and they're contextual ads so YouTube will pay you 
for those views. And on top of that, as I said, you know, the best thing would be that you will feel happy and content with this information by giving away because you will actually earn universal karmic bounty points, which means that your job, just like I came up to you, mm -hmm. will come up to you like on a platter. Same thing goes for money. Mm -hmm. uh, when people don't have enough, uh, they don't start becoming stingy, they don't give. Mm -hmm. So if you have a hundred euro, you must give five euro or a hundred euro in sadaqa mm -hmm. because God gives you more. Right. There is a story, I don't know if you've heard of this, there was a very poor man mm -hmm. and uh, back in the day you could talk to the angels, so they say, I don't know, mm -hmm. I wasn't there. So the, the very poor man asked the angel, how much money, I mean all my life I had never had money mm -hmm. and food, uh, so can you do me so he asked, how much money do I have left? How much money do you have to, will you, will you give me now? Mm -hmm. So he said, well, you only have 10 days worth of left food okay. in your destiny. Mm -hmm. So he said, well, can you do me a favor and can you give me all those 10 days of money all of a sudden, instantly? And I want to eat all of it together because I've never had uh, a meal, mm -hmm. I mean, a stomach full meal in my life. Mm -hmm. So... Let's go here. So the angel listens to him and he gives 10 days worth of meal to him. And then the angel leaves because he knows that he will die in 10 days because, you know, he doesn't have any food anymore in his destiny. Right. Have you heard this story before? I think I did. So he comes back after a few months and he was, was passing by and he just checked on this guy and it turns out that outside his house, there's a lot of food being given away. Right. And he inquires, what happened? He said, well, you gave me 10 days worth of food. I ate as much as I could, and then there was leftovers. So I started giving it away, because if I didn't, it would start rottening up. So I better give it away with up to other people. There were no refrigerators, probably. So uh, he gave it away. And all of a sudden, somehow, his risk became big, and he started getting more and more money and there were thousands of people outside his house eating that food okay so the, the moral of the story is that the more you give the more you get how who knows i don't know how i came to this planet how am i am alive why am i alive all those things i don't know but it's there so whoever invented this game of life has certain rules so one of the rules is the more you give the more you get and it's a weird rule it doesn't make normal sense which we are taught in school economic sense as they say it mm -hmm. but it works really well absolutely i totally agree so here's osama guys hey, i don't know if you guys see him he's an nlb coach why don't you introduce yourself a little bit on the phone and say hi to them so hi everyone uh, i thank rehan for this wonderful clip and uh, as he as he said uh, I'm a certified NLP coach and trainer. Um, I have uh, an experience in uh, administration, human resources. Uh, I work with many organizations uh, and currently I'm living in Sweden. In Jable. Jable, the city in Sweden. And uh, <coughs> I'm, well, I'm looking forward to, uh, to new possibilities basically to yeah youtube's your game exactly <laughs> so if somebody wants to add you in facebook is that okay absolutely okay. absolutely this is what it's for <laughs> thank you everyone bye